Hello planner friends! So in this video I am going to follow up on my common planner setup. Um, in my uh, latest video I showed you kind of like the initial setup using the stickers that Sterling Ink sells to go with the undated planner. So I put on the stickers, I put on the clear cover, I put everything into my motor and such. But in this video I am going to show you a basically like a walk through what I did since then because that video was already quite long so I after that video was done I sat down and I decided on what I want to put into this planner so actually there is something missing usually I have my um, fountain pen in here so this kind of completes the setup now so this is how it looks at the moment. It is quite chunky already because I have a common planner and a Stellogy in here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the Stellogy or not. Currently they are both in here because I like it chunky and I also only have the half year common planner and it's quite thin so the cover fits both at the moment. I also chose an early clip for this cover. I have quite a lot of different ones. Um, like this one. I also have this one. I have other ones as well. So I just basically went through all of them and decided what I liked the most with it. And it was this green one. I have no idea what the color is called. So don't ask me. So and then this is how it looks when I open it up and to be honest I am quite happy with how this turned out because usually I don't really like my pockets but this this setup I quite like. I don't want to pull out everything from the pockets because it's going to take forever but just very quickly this is a Sterling Ink freebie that comes with every it's a thank you card. It comes with every uh, order. This is a twines and paper thank you card that comes with every order. This is a paper minty studio uh, thank you freebie. Um, this is very old. This is a May Paper Co. Um, affirmation card that came in a set. I have a lot of these like transparent ones. And then we have a twines and paper freebie sticker sheet. This is by Alo's Creative Corner, this laminated bookmark. And then we have, this is also a freebie by twines and paper. It's just a July calendar. This is the card that came with the Alo's Creative Corner uh, laminated bookmark. And then I just have them here next to each other. And then we have this magnetic plan um, clip, I guess. It is by Twines and Paper as well. And this one is a moon early clip by Planning Yanni, I think. But this was a freebie as well, so I don't think you can order this. But you can order this um, and I have a discount code for Twines and Paper because I am on their PR team. So I'm going to leave it in the description box. And then we have some journaling cards. This is also by Twines and Paper. You can order this as well. Then I have some sweet freckle designs, tag stickers in here that I used at the top that I'm going to show you in a second. And then I have some icon stickers by May Paper Co. in here. Just so if I can, just if I want to use them, I, I can. And then we have these diptyque inspired plan stickers by Twines and Paper as well. And then underneath, this is a cloth and paper thank you card, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, now I just took it off, but yes, it is a, th a cloth and paper thank you card. So, let me put this back on. 
I just um, I just put this on with some paper clips. There we go. And the paper clips came with my twines in paper order as well. So it's just like a freebie that holds the freebie card and stuff together. So, and then we have this at the back. I think this is by Raw Element. And this was a freebie as well. So I just stuck that on there. So now for the setup in this planner. I am still a little bit undecided on what I'm gonna do with it. So I do want to probably create like a vision board for the last six months or something on here, but I still don't know. Also, I don't quite know how I'm gonna use this page, so it's still blank. Um, these pages, I, I think I'm gonna use this as a tracker, this side. And here I'm just gonna use it like for goals and stuff, such, but I still didn't decide on the goals, so it's still empty. And then the monthly, well, let's just talk about the tabs. So I put some tabs on the top so it is easy to find. So I put all of these on the first page of the corresponding section. So on the first monthly, I put the monthly tab. And on the first weekly, I put the weekly. And on the first of the blank pages, I put the daily. And as I mentioned, those tabs are by Sweet Freckled Designs. I think they call themselves something else now. Um, but I can't remember, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so this is a monthly and I am still looking for inspiration on how I want to use this, but this is going to probably just be like a event appointment calendar. And then I have these Midori index clips on the current month. I mean, obviously, right now for this month, I also have this tab to navigate to it. But once I am one month in the into the next month, I'm going to move the clip so that I can always find my monthly. The other ones are blank because I didn't have the patience to put down all of the stickers. So this is the weekly and I'm probably just going to use this as like the same way that I use my cousin. Uh, the weekly is in my cousin. So it's basically like a schedule to-do list kind of thing so that's just how it's going to be um but yeah that's a bit wonky but fine <laughs> and then for the dailies i started off the daily section with a july vision board and a july dashboard so this is specifically for july uh, because i'm starting this planner in july and then I have goals to do and events on this page. And these pages are just going to be daily to-do lists. I want to do it kind of like um, how Theory of Lauren does it. But we will see. So since this planner is going to be for university, kind of like a school planner, um, I'm probably only going to do... Um, school related um to do this in here but we will see if i really love this planner i might just um move into this as my catch-all planner but we will see <laughs> so this is my initial setup i also have this uh, strategy in here but i didn't put anything in here yet because I really don't quite know what I want to put in it so um, if you have any kind of favorite accounts that use a common planner let me know in the comments because I am looking for inspiration on every kind of page in this planner so just let me know if you have favorite spreads or accounts or maybe if you have an account yourself 
uh, you can leave your Instagram down below as well and I would love to check it out and how to see how to use how you use this planner I can't talk anymore I'm sorry but yeah this is my initial setup here is a close-up of the pockets I am really quite pleased with how the pockets came out I think these pockets are amazing I am not a huge fan of the um, leaks pockets because these are narrow but very deep so it's kind of hard to put stuff like cards and things I feel like because most of it just disappears into the pocket I would much rather have the pockets be wider and not that deep and I don't really need these these side pockets to be honest I mean obviously this one you need for the cover if you want to tuck it in but you could put this like over but you know so I'm not quite I don't really like my pockets in my weeks I feel like it's quite hard to make it look nice but these pockets are perfect I love them so much so yeah that's that it still closes on the inner thingy so it's not too chunky yet but once my common planner chunks up I might have to take out this telogy. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this. I might not use this telogy either way, so um, so yeah, that's that. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this very quick um, flip. And as I mentioned, let me know if you have any kind of inspiration for me for this planner. I can't wait to use this and be my most productive self. <laughs> so thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!